Hey guys, Eddie the Magic Monk here. Uh, I have recently already done a Windows 10 upgrade as you can see on my computer but it is running a little bit slower than I thought so what I'm going to do is I'm going to upgrade it by getting a new um, SSD solid state drive and put the solid state drive on my computer and do a brand new uh, clean install of Windows 10 so not the upgrade but a clean install so there are a few things you need to do to get this happening so the first thing you do is you need to check that your Windows 10 is activated so what you're going to do is go into um, go into settings Alright, for your Windows 10, go into settings and you're going to search for uh, update and security, which is here. And then you're going to click on uh, activation, which is here. Click on activation and it says that Windows is activated. So if it says Windows is activated, that means that later on, when you do a clean install of Windows 10 it'll automatically activate which is great so um, don't click change product key because you don't need to change it once it's activated um, somehow Microsoft will know that um, you've activated Windows 10 so now what you want to do is download the um, installation media disk okay so to download that um, you can just google it so just google uh, Windows 10 media creation tool okay so then you can just look for that Installing Windows 10 using a media creation tool. Download the tool. All right, software download page. So if you need to install or reinstall Windows 10, you can use the tools on this page. So um, then you can go down to download tool now, 64-bit version, which is what I have. okay so it's downloading the media creation tool so let that run through okay so it seems like it has downloaded the file so let's click on it media creation tool so I want to click on create installation media for another PC next um, choose English United States Windows 10 Pro and 64-bit and then I'm gonna choose ISO file so it should just get me one single file and it asks me where do I want to save it so I'm just gonna save it to my desktop click Save and now hopefully it's downloading that and we'll come back when it's done okay guys so after you have the Windows 10 um, ISO installed which is now here what you're gonna do is right click on that and choose burn disk image and make sure you have a blank DVD and you're gonna insert that to your computer in, into your DVD ROM drive once it's in there, click on burn disk image. Disk burner, um, DVD-R drive, start burning. Don't worry about verifying disk. Okay, so once it's finished burning, once it's finished burning, what we're going to do is we're going to put the disk back in. 
just to see that really Windows 10 is on the disk. So close it. All right, go to your computer and just see if Windows 10 is there. And yes, indeed, there is something on it.